So we're very happy today to have Keith Richberg here with us. He is the director of Hong Kong New Journalism. He'll tell us more about the program. Hi, Keith. So the first question, many people have said that journalism is a shrinking industry. So why is it good to do journalism now? Well, you know, I think this is a fantastic time to be a journalist. And first, if I look back, I know when it, many, many years ago in the 1970s, I went to University of Michigan and worked at the school paper and wanted to be a journalist. And everybody said, it's a terrible time to be a journalist. The economy was terrible, et cetera. You heard that in the 1990s. You heard that in 2008 when the global financial crisis happened. So it's always a bad time to be a journalist. So this time is no different in terms of the economics of it. But in terms of the uh, news, it's an amazing time to be a journalist. If you look around this region in the world, you've got the pandemic, which is a you know once in a hundred year event. You've got protests going on. You've got seismic changes going on with the U.S.-China relationship, uh, with Asia, you know, you know, in, in the world. Uh, you know, it's it's an amazing news time to be a journalist. And secondly, the barriers to entry to journalism are lower than ever before. Uh, people with digital skills and video skills can go online and create their own news sites, create their own websites, uh, fill it with their own content. Uh, so when I was a young journalist just getting out of school, you know, you had to get a job at a newspaper or a TV station and hope they hired you and then you could stay there for a while. Uh, young people today can get out and they, they have this kind of you know, vast array of you know, different platforms they can create themselves or join new ones. There's so many new internet startups out there, so many new media online sites. So the opportunities are almost endless. But why Hong Kong New Journalism? How is it different from other journalism programs in Hong Kong? Well, there are other journalism programs in Hong Kong, and I like to think that our specialty or our niche is, first of all, uh, we train you with those skills you would need to get out and work in this kind of new digital world. Uh, we teach data journalism. Uh, we teach digital journalism. Uh, we teach video skills, the video news production skills that, that uh, industry says that needs now. Uh, they need people who can go out and shoot and edit video um, and, and tell stories in a video or visual form. And secondly, it's, uh, we're very international. Our faculty is international. Our student body is international. Our students come from everywhere in the world. And our students go to work for the big international publications. So if you look around Hong Kong and the world, our HKU journalism grads are now holding top jobs at the New York Times, CNN, Bloomberg, Reuters, Agence France Press. Uh, you name it, there's probably an HKU journalism grad or quite some many uh, working, at, working in some of those big international organizations. So the skills that we can give you, digital, data, video, writing skills, uh, to work in the English language media, uh, plus the international component of our curriculum, our courses, our faculty, and of course our students who come from all over the world. So talking about different stories, 2020 is full of big stories like protests and COVID and also in Hong Kong, the national security law. So do we have to worry about any of the above? Well, uh, it's always a concern about all of the above. You know, with uh, COVID, for example, we've had to uh, shift on a dime here at HKU Journalism to uh, online teaching mode during the, the height of the pandemic. Uh, now we're in more of a hybrid mode where we have some face-to-face -face classes, but we still have online uh, classes uh, for those who cannot get here either because flights have been disrupted or because of quarantine. Uh, it's going to disrupt, uh, I'm afraid, some of our internship programs. We have a very international internship program, but some of that might be disrupted because students can't just get on planes and fly to where we would normally send some for their internships in Nepal or Malaysia or Myanmar or Indonesia, for example. So we'll have to wait until uh, the global pandemic situation has, has, uh, has become under control before we can resume that. Uh, but we're going to try to do some, uh, some interesting and exciting things right here in Hong Kong uh, for our students. Um, uh, we always want to keep students safe. That's the main thing. Uh, the national security law, of course, presents a whole other set of challenges. But you know, my message to students and incoming students interested in journalism is it's full steam ahead. We're not changing anything that we do. There's nothing in the law that would require us to change anything that we do because we're interested in fact-based, accurate, truthful journalism. And uh, nothing in the law would, should affect that. Um, so you know, we're, we're fine. I think the biggest danger to journalism under the national security law is the vagueness of it might uh, make some students and some working journalists uh, start uh, self-censoring. 
uh, start drawing red lines because they think some topics might be too sensitive. But you know, we're journalists, we should be out there asking tough questions and covering stories. And I think the biggest danger to journalists is drawing red lines in your head. Um, so we're just teaching our, our students to stay out there, stay factual, stay accurate, but tell the stories that need to be told. So what do you expect from the students who are interested to enter Hong Kong New Journalism? Well, you know, we, we teach you the skills that you need, so we don't have any specific set of skills that we require. We'll teach you the data skills, the digital skills, the writing skills that you need to go be a professional journalist in the, in the world. What I only ask for students coming in is, number one, they'd be willing to work very hard, because uh, it's, you know, it's a hard program, and we really work you hard. Uh, and number two, and probably equally important, is curiosity. Have a curiosity about the world, have a curiosity about the way things work. Uh, third, uh, they have to be uh, empathetic. Uh, empathy is a quality that I think every journalist uh, needs. And number four, they have to really desire to be a storyteller. Uh, they really have to be fascinated by stories, fascinated by news. Uh, to prepare yourself to come here, I would just say start reading news. Uh, read, consume as much news as you can. Get up every morning and check the websites. Check RTHK, BBC, New York Times, whatever your favorite news, uh, news platform is. Know what's going in, on in the world. Know what's going on in Hong Kong, in the region, around the world. Uh, because you know, a lot of what we teach here is based on current events. So those things, I think, would make anybody a good candidate to come to HKU Journalism. So lastly, what do you have to say to the people who are interested in our program? You know, I would say if you're interested in journalism and you're interested specifically in coming here to HKU Journalism, first of all, welcome. We love to have you here. And, you know, it's, I can't think of a more exciting time to be a journalist. If you just look around this region uh, at what's going on, You've, you know, the protests in, in Thailand, the elections coming up in Myanmar, changing in the U.S.-China relationship. Some people are talking about decoupling. Uh, we don't know where that's going to head. And then here in Hong Kong itself, the future under the new national security law and what's going to happen over the next year or years, whether or not we'll have new LegCo elections. Uh, just it's a really exciting time to be a journalist. I can't think of a more exciting time. Globally, you've got the pandemic, you've got you know, you know, elections in the US that could chart a new course, all kinds of exciting things are going on. And at the same time, uh, the industry is changing so much that now you've got you know, new websites coming along, you know, new digital platforms. Students, some of our own students, are going out and creating their own uh, new digital platform. So I think it's an absolutely fascinating time. Journalism may not look like it did when I graduated and went into journalism, but you guys are going to chart your own future and it's going to be a, a really exciting and I can't wait to be, be a part of it and, and watch what you guys do. Well, thank you, Keith, for today. Uh, it's been a great chat. Well, it's been my pleasure. Thanks for having me. Thank you.